So I want to welcome everyone. It is August the 11th, and we are now meeting as a council. Uh, so roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Oh, yes. Councillor Mackey sends his regrets. Councillor Gamble. Present. Councillor Burley. Present. Councillor Carlton. Present. Councillor McQueen. Present. Councillor Desai sends his regrets. And Councillor Little. Present. Councillor Patterson. Present. Warden Hicks. Here. Councillor Clumpus. Here. Councillor Keaveney. Present. Councillor Boddy. Present. Councillor O'Leary. Councillor Woodbury. Here. Councillor Milne. Present. Councillor Sowever. Councillor Sowever is present. present. Councillor Bordingill. Present. Councillor Robinson. Present. Councillor Hutchinson. Present. Okay. Confirm we have all members here with the exception of Councillor Mackey and Desai. Thank you, Madam Clerk. We'll proceed with the land acknowledgement. We acknowledge with respect the history, spirituality, and culture of the Anishinaabek, the Six Nations of the Grand River, the Haudenosaunee, the Wendat, Wyandot, Wyandot peoples on whose traditional territories we gather and whose ancestors signed treaties with our ancestors. We recognize also the Métis and the Inuit whose ancestors signed this land, excuse me, shared this land and these waters. May we all as treaty people live with respect on this land and live in peace and friendship with all of its diverse peoples. Council, I wonder if you might, uh, with your leave, if you, you would join me in uh, acknowledging a moment of silence. We've had some losses in our uh, community. Uh, you may have heard the news that uh, the mayor of Goderidge, uh, John Grace, has, uh, has passed. Um, in the municipality of Meaford, we've had the, the loss of our municipal staff, uh, Nick Burt, and as well, we acknowledge uh, the loss of Sue Carlton's uh, nephew, and I apologize, I do not know his uh, his name, but I'm sorry for your loss. Could we please just uh, stand up and acknowledge a, a moment of silence? <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> okay, council, uh, is there any declaration of interest, pecuniary or otherwise? Seeing none, I will just say, if one comes up during the course of the meeting, I would ask you to declare it at that time. Item number five, adoption of minutes. First, we're dealing with the County Council and Committee of the Whole Minutes, which are dated July 28th. Could I have a mover, please? Uh, moved by Councillor Robinson, uh, seconded by Councillor Milne. Any discussion on those minutes? And seeing none, I'll call the question. All those in favor? Is there anyone opposed? That is carried. Thank you very much. Item 6B is Committee of the Whole Closed Meeting Minutes dated July 28th. I'm looking for a mover, please. Uh, so moved by Councillor Bordignan and seconded by Councillor uh, Hutchison. All those in favor? Any opposed? That too is carried. We have no closed meeting matter. Uh, item number eight is the Public Health uh, Gray Bruce Board of Health Minutes, which are dated June 24th, 2022. I'm looking for a mover, please. Moved by Councillor O'Leary and seconded by Councillor Patterson. Uh, Dr. Era is present. Dr. Era? You Good, have morning, the floor. Good morning, Council. Good morning. Thank you for having me. The, uh, um, the three points that uh, I, will, I want to mention on these minutes, there was an update earlier uh, from the last meeting, but the three points I want to mention are related to a quick COVID update. Uh, the situation remains stable. Uh, all indicators, whether a number of cases, outbreaks, hospitalization, on average, remain the same. The other two points are related to uh, 
orchid and gravies. Um, the health unit issued a number of communication about the recent opiate um, overdose events. There has not been death and uh, the, the community partners um, mobilized the, their effort uh, um, in, in every uh, one of these events. The third one, as I mentioned, rabies, the potential exposure to rabies in Grey Bruce, public health um, and the health unit uh, issued number of communication to remind residents to protect themselves from exposure to rabies. I would uh, encourage people to go to our website or call our helpline for uh, primary prevention and secondary prevention, primary prevention before exposure to a bite and secondary prevention, what the person can do if they have been exposed. Um, those are the three points open to questions on them or uh, any other subject related to health, um, Mr. Orden. Thank you, Dr. Ara. Are there any questions from council? Then I'll call the question. All those in favor? Anyone opposed? That is carried. Thank you very much, Dr. Arrow. Thank you. Okay, so um, we have no bylaws and we're on to good news and celebrations. Any good news and celebrations? Uh, Councillor Klumpis. Am I up? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Orton. And good morning, County Council. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for acknowledging uh, the loss of our uh, employee, um, Nick Burt. It is a devastating blow, and I'm sure um, is felt uh, in other communities who have suffered uh, similar um, devastating blows. And to Sue, uh, my condolences um, for your, your family's uh, heartbreak as well. So thank you for acknowledging that. Um, but I do have some good news to share, and that is that um, annually, our community celebrates the volunteers who contribute so much to our community. Um, over the past two years, of course, we've had to put pause on that in person because of COVID, but this year we are returning in person with a dinner um, that will be in the presence of Her Honor, the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. Um, this is very exciting news. She is on a, a tour celebrating, of course, the Queen's Jubilee and uh, um, accepted our invitation to join us for this uh, volunteer appreciation dinner. So we will have her uh, company um, for the afternoon of uh, August the 24th. And uh, she has requested that uh, we have a round table discussion with uh, individuals in our community. And we have chosen our um, community safety and wellness uh, plan uh, tasks that we have, as have assigned with specific focus on uh, youth mental health and where we can go from there. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, although I would have preferred it another week after just returning from annual conference, but it's, uh, it's a very exciting time for us. And I wanted to share that good news. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Klumpis. That is exciting indeed. And, and council should know, I asked Councillor Klumpis, how did you get uh, the Lieutenant Governor? And she said, we asked. <laughs> So there you go. <laughs> Anyone else with uh, good news or celebration? Uh, Councillor Hutchison. Thank you, uh, Mr. Warden, and good morning, everyone. Um, just want to say last weekend, the Aiden Family Ball Tournament uh, uh, was underway for the first time since uh, COVID hit. So it's been a couple of years off. There's 12 teams participated. And I just want to uh, say it was a huge success. And I want to congr congratulate the organizers. A uh, portion of the funding is going to go to the Normanby Public School for healthy meals for our students. So congratulations to them. Thank you. And thank you for that. I do not see any other hands. So we'll... Oh, Council oh, Councillor Little, my apologies. Go right ahead. Well, thank you, Mr. Warden. Um, I didn't see it in the minutes for the last um, Committee of the Whole and Council meeting for the county. And I just wondered if the death of um, Jim Harold from the municipality of Gray Highlands had been acknowledged. My apologies. No, it had not been acknowledged. Um, since the mayor is present, perhaps he'd like to speak to that. Deputy Warren. 
Yeah, thanks uh, for raising that, Councillor Little. And uh, yes, uh, a few weeks back, we did lose uh, Jim Harold, um, who was a long serving uh, community member for a, for a lot of years. He was the last acting reeve of Artemisia Township uh, before amalgamation, very active on our uh, library um, board and, and instrumental on building the new library in Fletcherton. Uh, he was a the uh, acting manager for the city of Home Sound for a period of time. And I know they did recognize him on their website as long with our website as well. Um, there will be a celebration of life. I think it's the last Saturday, excuse me, the date there, but uh, at the farm and a certain celebration of his life. Uh, as uh, If you look at his obituary, he's done a lot of stuff and very successful in, in the things that he's, he's done and certainly will be missed uh, greatly in the community and uh, yes, uh, heartfelt uh, sorrow for the loss of Jim Harold. And uh, I was going to say, also, he was also, I guess he would be on county council here prior to um, amalgamation, I think two terms as as the re of Artemisia as well. I'm just trying to think if he was a warden, but I don't think he was a warden, but uh, he certainly was an acting member for two terms here. So thank you, Mr. Ward. And thanks, Councilor Little, for raising that. Trey. Well, thank you for the update. Anyone else? I'm looking on screen. I'm looking here present. I, well, uh, Councillor Body. Oh, on that topic, I uh, note that we uh, lost Bill Twaddle, former city councillor, county councillor. At that time, they called him a city county councillor. Um, Bill, I think, had a pretty in, big impact on people like McManaman and myself because he was a, a guy that was very thorough asked a lot of questions. Uh, sometimes a committee meeting started at five and ended at 10 by the time we uh, discussed uh, everything to the uh, nth. Bill is also a guy that at times could uh, would take no prisoners. And um, I'm not sure we'd have our wastewater treatment plant uh, without Bill. He was also an advocate for women on the fire department and um, we didn't get that done. And uh, within his time, he's been sick for quite a while and uh, he is, uh, a loss to our community. So recognize him as well. Thank you. And thank you for that, Councillor Body. Okay, I truly do not see any other hands. Uh, oh, Councillor McQueen, how do I miss this? <laughs> Just following up on Mr. Twaddle, I think he was on the source water protection, right? Because I know he was our representative. So he was very instrumental on that. That's where I got to know Bill Twaddle. <laughs> so. Okay, one final look. No hands <laughs> and no hands. So we can move on. All right, so uh, I'm looking for an adjournment now. Um, mover to adjourn, moved by uh, Councillor Milne, seconded by maybe somebody online, Councillor Robinson. All those in favor? Any opposed? That is carried. Thank you very much. We'll just take a second to switch over.